Manuele Capobianco, Head of Health and Care for the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent. Good to have you on the program with us. How is it possible for Russia to be so far ahead of everyone else in the search for a vaccine? And do you think it's realistic that they do have a viable vaccine? We know that uh, Russia, like many other countries, has been uh, uh, testing vaccines in uh, clinical trials. We were aware that this uh, specific vaccine was in the phase one of clinical trials. So it's slightly surprising to hear the announcement uh, that there will be a mass vaccination already coming in October. Uh, what we know that the vaccines need to undergo very rigorous trials that demonstrate efficacy and safety. And so we have still to, to look at the data, at the publication of the data related to these vaccines to indeed uh, confirm that the vaccine is both efficacious and uh, safe. Yeah, as you said, Russia has not completed all phases of testing. In fact, it's only completed two phases and says it will do the third testing phase at the same time as medical workers get vaccinated. Does that concern you? Uh, the, the phase three trials normally are um, applied to thousands of people. So there may be a decision there to have these as a medical uh, uh, personnel to be, to be tested. But uh, that means that the vaccine is not yet approved. Uh, if that is uh, not happening, we are still in, in a clinical uh, trial phase and not in, a, in an approved uh, uh, vaccine. So what we know is that the race is on. There are many uh, countries that are pushing for vaccines to clinical trials. But uh, at the moment, at present, uh, uh, not a single uh, vaccine has been approved. Hence, uh, we need to wait uh, probably several more months before vaccination will start. And if we are thinking about the world, it's probably going to be in 2021. Uh, and I believe it's going to be very unlikely to see uh, large vaccinations in the world happening in uh, uh, 2020 already. Yeah, as we know, everyone wants to find a cure for coronavirus. And there are some 100 or so vaccine trials around the world. Uh, but what could be the ramifications of mass vaccinating people using a vaccine that hasn't been fully tested? Well, uh, science needs to come first. Uh, safety and efficacy are two uh, criteria that uh, need to be abided by everyone. Uh, um, and so uh, this is what will be scrutinized in, uh, in the next few days by, by scientists about the results that will be published uh, related to this uh, Russian vaccine. And nobody... Uh, wants to put out uh, a vaccine that is uh, neither effective nor, uh, nor safe. This is priority number one in the public health world. And let me just add that priority uh, number one, uh, even, even higher than this one, is right now maintaining all those public health measures that can reduce infections because a vaccine will arrive, but it's not going to arrive anytime soon. And until that moment, we will need to really step up all our public health measures, the physical distancing, the masks, the washing hands. These are simple measures that we already have at hand. And globally, we are not using uh, uh, as much and as widely as we all should. All right. Certainly some uh, good advice there to keep up with the mask wearing and social distancing. And patience is key. Emanuele Capobianco, thank you.